guys. Um, I know I look like crap. Um, I spent a lot of the night at the ER. Um, you can see my lovely neck brace. Um, I dislocated my left clavicle. Um, if, if I do this, you can see I'm in an arm splint or an, an arm sling or whatever to immobilize my left clavicle here. Um, so, you know, the doctor did an exam and he definitely could tell that my left side was further out or more prominent than the right side. He did an x-ray and nothing really showed up on the x-ray, so at least it's not a bad dislocation. Um, it's probably just a small subluxation, but it definitely hurt like hell. It, you know, even for me or for any other EDSer who has a pretty high tolerance for pain, like, I was screaming in agony, so that's when my boyfriend took me to the emergency room, which actually happens to be right down the street from me, so, you know, if I could walk, I could probably walk by myself, um, but I'm in a lot of pain now, I'm probably gonna slather on some Voltaren gel in hopes that that'll work. I have Vicodin that I'm taking along with all my other stuff. Um, you know, that's all I really have to say, but, you know, people with EDS, they can do all sorts of fun tricks, as I like to call them, tricks with their hands and shoulders and stuff like that but I don't even know how I dislocated my collarbone um I tried to do too much yesterday and I haven't been feeling all that well my blood pressure has been really low between 70 over 40 to 90 over 60 um I think today it hit 100 over 65 and we nearly celebrated because that's just fantastic for us. Well, for me. Um, so, I was having some sort of cabin fever, so I decided to drive myself to the craft store and I spent way too much money on crafting supplies, some more yarn, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful yarn. I can't wait to make an afghan out of it. Um, and I got some beading supplies. My mom got into beading and now I'm really interested in it. So I'm going to try doing that, make my own jewelry to match all my necklaces. Maybe sell some on Etsy. We'll see. Um, this is just going to be a brief update. And I just wanted to let you guys know that serious injuries can develop because here I am in a neck brace, which is actually very, very supportive. I suggest any EDS or any people with spinal problems to get one of these soft cervical collars, especially for when you're sitting up for a long time or in the car for a long drive. It definitely makes it more comfortable. Your neck is not doing as much work as you think it is or as it normally would to keep your head up. Um, oh, I went to the pain clinic and I've been put on Lyrica which makes me really sleepy, but a lot of the generalized pain has been diminished a little bit. I mean, it's not gone completely. 
and you know doctors aren't miracle workers they just try the best they can so we're gonna try that ultram er um for during the day you know the extended release form ultra set which is a small dose of tramadol and a small dose of tylenol put together um, for now though because of the pain I'm in I have some Vicodin um, what else was I gonna say I probably should have made this video after I took the Vicodin I probably look a little stoned <laughs> um, but that's the medication um, and the pain clinic put me in contact with a woman that lives near me with EDS and I've been talking a lot with her she gave me some phone numbers of a great physical therapist that knows EDS and knows how to treat it and not just heard of it so I'm gonna see him the November 19th and um, she wants me she thinks it'd be a good idea to um, call the Chiari Institute and as we're talking and about the symptoms and stuff of Chiari malformation and tethered cord syndrome I pretty much fit the bill there's a um, questionnaire on the Chiari Institute website um, it's www.chiariinstitute.com and you can find the questionnaires on there I've printed them out and I plan on bringing them to my doctors. Um, Alright, I guess that's it for now. This is getting long enough and I need to go take a nap. Um, but before I go, you notice the brand new chair. You know, there's my yoga ball in the corner. Wait, where can, can you see it? Yep, there it is, the yoga ball right there that's what I've been sitting on having this new chair with the support and everything has been fantastic but anyway I wish you all well and I will be back soon bye